Do you believe in Putis Claws? Do you love taunt kills? Do you enjoy the idea of going on a kill streak with a joke weapon so that you can rub salt into your enemy's wounds once you get that kill streak going? If you said yes to any of the following, I have the guide for you. How yin's doing? I'm an Ian, and this is my TF2 How to Kill Streak series, where we look at the best and worst TF2 has to offer, and I show you how to get a kill streak with it. Because everything is a bad idea until it works. Today, we'll be annoying my mother by doing Christmas stuff before December even starts by covering the holiday punch. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> The Holiday Punch was added back in 2015 in the Australian Christmas update, and can be crafted using a reclaimed metal, a holy mackerel, and a Gru. How the heck that works is beyond my understanding, but then again, this is a game where you can heal bullet wounds by eating a sandwich and fly through the air by shooting a rocket launcher at your feet. So I think we can safely assume that realism was not a factor in the design making here. Especially once you consider how ridiculous this weapon actually is. Speaking of which, let's go over what it actually does. The abilities of this weapon are honestly quite easy to understand. When you punch someone from behind, you're given a guaranteed critical hit, and when you land a critical hit on a foe, instead of doing damage, you force the enemy into a laughing taunt instead. Since the Holiday Punch is capable of getting taunt kills, you can actually use this time the enemy is spent laughing after landing a critical hit to go for one, and get the show trial achievement with relative ease. And before any of you ask, no, the buffalo steak sandwich does not help you in this endeavor. You see, the steak sandwich actually gives you mini crits, which count as their own separate thing entirely from regular crits, which would give you the laughing taunt animations with the Holiday Punch. However, the Holiday Punch does have some synergy with the Buffalo Steak Sandwich, since the Buffalo Steak Sandwich is the only mobility-enhancing tool the Heavy has that doesn't compete for an equip slot alongside the Holiday Punch, since the only other mobility tools the Heavy has are melee weapons. So if you feel like the only reason you're failing with this weapon whatsoever is due to the Heavy's low move speed, this might be a viable option. But, if you don't have a crits Krieg medic to pocket you, and you can't get behind the enemy at all whatsoever for the guaranteed crits this weapon can provide, don't worry. You still have random crits to bank on. That's right, this weapon can actually land random crits on enemies, meaning you can just force anyone into a laughing animation at will, if RNGesus favors you that day, that is. It's because of this factor that the Holiday Punch often comes up in discussions when it comes to how to deal with enemy ubers as heavy, since if you can land a few lucky random crits or simply punch people from behind, you can actually stop an uber in its tracks by forcing the medic to simply laugh instead of press onward with his team. At least in theory. However, in practice, I find it very unlikely for this to ever happen in any actual game, since if an enemy team is coordinated enough that uber charges are a consistent factor you need to concern yourself with, it's also safe to assume that they are coordinated enough that trying to hit melee attacks against them is just a synonym for suicide. Regardless of whether or not you attempt to try charging at ubered players or not, I strongly recommend using the Delocus bar. This is because the Delocus part increases your maximum health pool, which will help you improve your survivability, which is generally going to be a prerequisite of what you're going to want to do if you're going for melee kills as heavy. Especially if you're playing medieval mode, since you're not going to have an opportunity to heal yourself whatsoever in the heat of a battle, which means your survivability and maximum health pool are almost synonymous with each other. This is because on Degroot Keep, players will almost always be in a giant mosh pit of death on the objective points, resulting in you constantly taking damage from everyone's melee swings, assuming of course their melee swings aren't being eaten by their own teammates, since TF2's hit registration is kinda weird. These bloodbaths are particularly problematic if you intend to go for taunt kills, since the mess of players running around will often move victims out of your taunt kills range as players bump into each other, moving both you and whoever you are trying to taunt kill further apart. Still, if you're in some weird bizarre situation where as heavy you're in a 1v1 melee only fight with someone with random crits enabled, the Holiday Punch is actually the best weapon the heavy has in his arsenal for that weird niche situation. However, the only time I've seen this happen with any degree of consistency is on community servers where players were heavy boxing. That's right, heavy boxing. It's a thing. If you are ever wondering why there are boxing rings on all those community server maps, this is the reason why. It's honestly kind of self-explanatory. Two players, both playing heavy, will try to kill each other using melee only. If you're interested in doing this, be careful where you go about doing it, because many servers actually force you to gamble actual in-game items over who wins the fight. 
I have heard many a horror story of players losing large sums of money through gambling away all their unusuals through a single heavy boxing match. And I personally advise against trying to get into these gambling rings since their legality largely hinges on politicians these days not being aware about third-party sites that let you turn keys into real-world money. Trust me on this, people, if you're looking for your first unusual, this is not the way to go about it. Moving back to the subject of the Holiday Punch, if you wish to get kills with this weapon with any degree of reliability, you'll need the element of surprise. After all, the Heavy has the lowest move speed in the game, so if you're going to go try charging at the enemy mindlessly head-on, they're going to be able to avoid you quite easily as they leisurely shoot you outside of melee distance. Because of this, the Holiday Punch works best for Heavy players who are used to his base move speed and enjoy flanking in spite of that. The Buffalo Steak Sandwich can be helpful in this endeavor since, like I said earlier, it's your only real option for offsetting the Heavy's low movement speed. However, since you are restricted to melee only while getting a 10% damage vulnerability when you use the Buffalo Steak Sandwich, it's far from an ideal situation. However, there is one other technique I have yet to mention that can help you get kills with some degree of consistency. And no, I am not talking about ambushing clueless players, because those are not guaranteed to show up every game. Yes, they are quite common, but the moment you start relying on them being there is the moment they stop being there. The method I am speaking of is actually forbidden by the Church of Putis, the forbidden art known as the Judas Hoopy. The Judas Hoovy pretends to be friendly, bribing the soon-to-be victim with sandwiches to earn their trust. But before long, the Judas Hoovy will use the power of the Holiday Punch to force the victim to laugh helplessly before ending their suffering through a devastating taunt kill. As treacherous as this tactic is, it is most likely your best route to getting a kill streak with the Holiday Punch, especially on maps where players tend to act friendly more often than not, such as Two Fort and Hightower. However, outside of these more casual maps, this tactic is less than likely to work, since the odds of the other team viewing friendly as anything other than free kills is near non-existent, to say nothing of the possibility of being discovered for what you truly are. All in all, I give the Holiday Punch a practical joke out of 10. If you're serious about getting kills as heavy, this is far from an ideal weapon. However, if you're in it for the memes rather than anything serious, this can be a fun time. That's all for now, like the video if you did, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one, comment what weapons you want to see me cover in the future, I've been an Ian, and this has been my TF2 How to Kill Streak Guide to The Holiday Punch, and stay tuned, the short circuit is coming up next. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to listen to my mother go on a tirade about how we shouldn't be playing Christmas music on the radio before December.